Hi guys, uh, as we know Notion recently came up with their API which will help us in many ways to automate our process and they have given a very uh, detailed guide how to start with it and here we can see the entire guide so the first thing we need to start is create a new integration and then share this integration with our uh, Notion page basically so I already have my own integration here as you can see and I named it as Streamlit Notion uh, so basically what I would like to try out here now is to integrate Notion with Streamlit mm, Streamlit is something uh, a very popularly used nowadays it's 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 mainly for deploying app uh, mainly your data app in a very fast and a quick process it's, it's very popular and trendy recently and so the first thing how we start is we start with our integration so as I enter the integration what we get are the tokens mainly so this token is very necessary we need this token so let's copy this token here and once we have the token, we go to our codes. So here we use few few Python codes just to automate Streamlit with Notion. And so let's first start with uh, importing our module. So what we need is Streamlit. So import Streamlit as ST. What we also need is to you know we are requesting a lot of uh, queries and URLs. So we need requests. Okay. And as I, before I took this, I copied to clipboard our Notion uh, token. So I paste it here now. And we also need something called database ID. How we get the database ID? So database ID we can get from our Notion page actually. So let's create a Notion page here. Streamlit notion test uh, as it's referred in the guide we let's start with a very simple aspect let's follow our guide and let's create a table full page it's actually there the suggestions that's yes so let's name that game thrones choices Let's put some, you know, dump some names out here. Let's put John Snow. Let's also put Lancasters maybe. Let's get their choices. So let's say John Snow is more of a cat person. Hmm. I see. So what if we do it more of a text for timing? Let's try this. Yes. Let put us cat person. Let us Lannister as okay, dragon person. Although in reality it's not maybe. Okay. So we have our table now out here. The another thing which we need out here is we first need to uh, start integrating our page with Notion. So how we do that? We share it. Then we invite, and we invite with Streamlight Notion, uh, which we already created before. Yes. It can edit perfect invite it and for our codes we also need this URL actually so we copy this URL and we go and paste it here about it so actually we don't need the full entire part of it we need this part from here until here yes and we copy it here we don't need this part okay so along with this we also need few more steps so this we will see why i already i have already kept it here why we need this headers um, okay yeah so here they have shown us the api reference section how to retrieve a database so if we if i click it here they have used curl and they use this this link with the database link also the token maybe an API key out here so they have used this authorization out here with the notion API key so that's why I kept it as my header there as we can see they have retrieved with the get function for the query they have used the post 
So we also use the same functions basically. But instead of that, we are doing in Python now. So I have wrote these functions already. One of them is database query, one is database retrieve. So you, you read the URL, use the same function. We have our database ID already. We have our, uh, we copy and paste that function which you saw already out here. And we send our request and we get the results out here. So let's try one of this function. Let's see if uh, we can integrate with Streamlit. So I'll write run Streamlit now in my local host. But before that, I need to uh, put some basic Streamlit function. Let's say we call this query database. Let's say we need uh, res data as output and query database. And we already have our database ID and we already have our headers. Okay. Now we have already imported Streamlight, so it's a basic Streamlight syntax. So let's check if it actually worked or not, if it gives us 200 OK or it's a bad request. So for that, we need race dot status code. That's all we need for timing. And let's run in my, in my local host. So how we run it is streamlit. So we will use Notion. So I think I'm in this here. Um, Notion call. So this, when I run this, this will run in my, as a local host. So look, so we have a proper response. Our database is connected to it. Now let's go back to the code. Let's see one final aspect, which I will demonstrate here is if we populate our streamlit. So streamlit has this JSON object. We can write st.json. And then we populate that with our data, which we fetch from there. And we save it. It's automatically will get updated here. And we always rerun. Yeah. So we have the entire details. So as we saw before in our Game of Thrones choice, what we have out here is basically we have our ID. This ID can be used. So if we later try to use some other aspect like like let's say create a page or retrieve a page. We need this database ID also for that. Or update page properties. There we might need database ID. So it's good to know this database ID when we see in Notion. It also shows us the created time and the last time which we did now. And yes, most of the details it's shown in so look out here we we use this under the properties we see one of them is a dragon person one of them is john snow whatever we put out here john snow this cat person so we already start to see that in this lannisters so the entire details comes it's fetched from our notion to stream it. And let's say if we make some change out here, let's say John Snow is cat and let's say we have four. cat instead of that we and someone. We save it and we if we start to read on it again Yeah, look, it already starts to get updated. Now, if we want to just put the relevant ones, we can change in our code again, and we can just put the relevant ones. So we can actually modify our code based on the ones which you really need, the one information which you don't want to show. And in this way, we can actually build something, a web page, which is always accessing our Notion page, and we throw the information to our audience on the part which we want to show. We can retrieve database and if we check our integration part, we can actually create a new page from here directly. We just need to write a function for it. Similar way, follow the same pattern. And uh, maybe that time we need to mention our database, which you already did. 
the information from here. So in that way, if we write, we can actually write our entire function for throwing specific weight. So yeah, this is a very nice way to use Notion and also throw it and dump it in a stream read platform as a web page. So yeah, that's all.